Hello everyone, welcome to Data in Nutshell. Today this video is regarding how to deploy an on ended function and use one of my videos because I have been receiving a lot of requests where people are struggling how to deploy the code with the help of on ended function, right? So I have a video uh, which is how to trigger email from checkbox sticks, right? When you will open this video, in this video, I have given you the link of the code. Okay. You can go and click on this. And on GitHub, you can click on the link provided. Okay. So this is the function, right? We are talking about using it. So before using it, you have to go to extensions, go to app script. Okay. And there are two things you have to use. So in the third section, this code, th there are multiple codes in it, but you have to go and click on this send email from checkbox. This is the same code, which is mentioned in the GitHub. Okay. So this is the same code, but what you have to do to use it? So everything is, everything will remain same. The main part you are going to do is the, uh, if you're not interested in the image uh, population in the email, then you can just go and to forward slash in 25 line 26 also and in 34 and after that you just instead of instead of uh, putting this email id you just go just go and put two because i have already defined two here okay so it will take directly and after that so once it is done once it is done you just you just save the code okay and one last thing you have to do is you have to go to triggers when whenever you use on edit function right always remember you have to go to triggers click on triggers i have created one and you have to create it exactly the same so you will go on add trigger you will click on on edit function here then these two will remain same then go and click on on edit here select event type and save so what will happen whenever whenever there is an edit in this in this page right whenever there is an edit in this page a trigger will run your code so your, so this code this basically code will not run automatically right so it needs permission and that permission for this on edit function that permission is provided with the help of this trigger this is a trigger which will give this will give the permission to the code so that it can perform the actions. So I'm deleting this as of now. Okay. So just remember if you want to send the emails from your ID, from your Gmail ID, then go and create a trigger as shown in the video and delete my uh, trigger from here. Okay. Use your trigger and in the from section, when you will check your Gmail, right in the from section your email id will appear and in the two the email ids which are mentioned here will come okay so i hope this video will so will solve your issue with this video how to trigger emails from checkbox text right and it will be useful for you for sure do let me know if you have any issues i'll be happy to help you thank you very much